I say unto you, it shall be required of this generation. Woe unto you, lawyers, for ye have taken away the key of knowledge. Ye enter not in yourselves, and them that were entering in ye entered. And as he said these things unto them, the scribes and the Pharisees began to urge him vehemently, and to provoke him to speak of many things, laying wait for him, and seeking to catch something out of his mouth that they might accuse him. Chapter 12 In the meantime, when there were gathered together an innumerable multitude of the people, in so much that they drove one upon another, he began to say unto his disciples, First of all, Beware ye of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness, shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the air of the inner rooms shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that they have no more that they can do. But I will forewarn you, whom ye shall fear, fear him which after he hath been killed hath power to cast into hell. Yeah, I say unto you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two farthings, and not one of them is forgotten before God? But even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, ye are all more valuable than many sparrows. Also, I say unto you, Whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of God. But ye that denieth me before men shall be denied before the angels of God. And whosoever shall speak a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But unto him that blasphemeth against the Holy Spirit, it shall not be forgiven. And when they bring you unto the synagogues, and unto magistrates, and powers, take ye no thought how or what things ye shall answer or what ye shall say. For the Holy Ghost shall teach you in the same hour what ye ought to say. And one of the company or crowd said unto him, Master, speak to my brother that he will divide the inheritance with me. And he said unto him, Man, who made me a judge or a divider over you? And he said unto him, Jesus. 